Hello everyone, this is the tutorial video for MDD10A. The components that we will be needing are MDD10A, CT Uno, half breadboard, some motors, 12 volt battery, a potentiometer, female to male wires, male to male wires, slide switches, and two wheels to see the direction of rotation. First, we look at sign magnitude mode. First, connect the slide switches to the CT Uno. Then, use male-to-male -male jumper wires to connect the positive terminal to the power supply. Then, connect the negative terminal to ground. Connect the positive terminal to the power supply pin on the CT Uno. This CT Uno will provide 5 volt power supply. Connect the ground pin respectively. The DIR1 pin on the motor driver is connected to digital pin 7 on the CT Uno. PWM1 pin is connected to pin 6 digital pin. DIR2 is connected to pin 4 digital pin. PWM2 is connected to digital pin 3 same thing like the slide switch the ground is connected onto the negative terminal of the breadboard here is the program for our first example so I compile it And then, once it is compiled, click the Upload button. Use the serial monitor to observe the output of the program. I control the rotation of the motor with the slide switches. Notice that motor 1 starts to rotate first at maximum speed and gradually getting slower while motor 2 starts at later time and keeps getting faster. Connect the power pin to the positive terminal on the breadboard. While the ground pin is connected to the negative pin on the breadboard. The V output is connected to analog 1 pin. Compile and upload the codes to CT Uno. Use serial monitor to observe the output of the potentiometer. 
I can vary it as I rotate the potentiometer by turning anti-clockwise towards the power pin I increases the PWM value by turning clockwise towards ground pin of the potentiometer I reduces the PWM value and thus the motor rotates slower same thing I use slide switches to switch the direction of the motor If you wish to look at the serial monitor at the slower speed, increase your delay value. The second mode is Lock Antiphase Mode, which utilizes Duty Cycle. Over here, we need to switch the PWM pin and the DIR pin. The motor starts to rotate at maximum speed and getting gradually slower as the DIR value approaches 50% duty cycle. When it is at 50% duty cycle, it will stop and then it will start to rotate in the opposite direction and will be gradually faster until its maximum speed. As I rotate the potentiometer anti-clockwise direction, the duty cycle increases up to 50% and it will stop. Then, I continue increasing it, the motor rotates in different direction. Look at how the DIR value changes as I rotate the potential meter clockwise and anti-clockwise direction. Thank you for watching. Bye!